When developing a native application for the Android platform, we can use the Web View widget. The Web View widget implementation is based on the WebKit web browser. We can call the load URL method on a Web View object, passing over a URL address for an HTML file. That HTML file will be loaded and the web view object will render the HTML code as well as any code written in JavaScript. Actually, it would be exactly as if we were browsing this URL address using the WebKit web browser the Android platform includes. In this code sample, if we check this specific URL address, we shall find that the returned HTML generates two text fields, a button and another text field. When the user enters two numbers and then press the button, we can find a call to the calc function. The calc function, in this case, includes a call to another function implemented in Java. Here we can call the add JavaScript interface method on the web view object, passing over a reference for an object in Java, in this case an object which was instantiated from this class, as well as an identifier the JavaScript code running inside the web view will be able to use in order to call those methods defined in this class, a class from which we instantiate an object and pass over its reference to the add JavaScript interface method. Here in this case, if we check the JavaScript, we can find a call to ob calculate sum. This code works because we specify OB as an identifier for calling methods on the object this is its reference. Therefore, when the user press the button, we can find an invocation of the calculate sum method, a method implemented in Java defined within the calculate object class. The returned value here in this case is passed over back to the JavaScript code and then it is entered into the third text field. When we execute this application we can see the two text fields where we enter numbers and then pressing the button actually indirectly executes a method defined in the Java part of this application.